the first to bring you the hottest DJ gear on the planet. You're watching coverage of Winter Nam 2011. We are AGIProDJ.com. Hello, everybody. DJ Ty from AGIProDJ.com. Nam 2011. I'm here in the Pioneer booth with DJ Lars. And he's gonna go over this brand new limited edition CDJ and DJM 350 system. I will note in the video that this is a custom made Odyssey case. Take a look at this. It's a custom made piece. You can actually order these from HGIProDJ.com. We can get you pricing and availability. They are handmade down here in LA. It takes four or five days to get them shipped to you, but it is an available case if you decide to go with the all pearl white system, which is gorgeous. Lars, show them the rig. Well, what we're looking here is uh, the CDJ350W, W stands for white, and the uh, DJM350W. So uh, it's winter NAM, we thought we'd come out something in snow white, and uh, I think you'll agree, it's gorgeous, uh, especially here with the uh, blue and white and red lights here as well. Um, the CDJ350 is our least expensive uh, record box compatible um, multi-format player. So uh, you have a USB port here where you can connect your USB stick or your external hard drive and play back your record box analyzed files through that. Um, there's also a USB port in the back which I can use to uh, control a computer. So this is also a MIDI and HID controller for all the popular DJ softwares that are out there. And then of course it's also a, a CD player. Player. So right here is where you insert your CD. You want to play back from CD, you press this button right here. Um, now you can uh, you can create loops. Let me uh, just um, select something here. Go into uh, my playlist. Here's my song. So now as the song is playing back, I can set a loop. Uh, and there's a uh, feature on here called the loop divider which is very popular it sort of cuts up the loop uh, in, in different variations um, it sounds really cool um, a feature that's unique on the CDJ350 is, uh, is the BPM lock so uh, if I have two of these I can dial in the same BPM on both of them and I don't really have to uh, worry about um, using my pitch control at all while I'm DJing so let's say I go to BPM lock now I'm selecting my master BPM um, I'm I'm going to dial in 130 right there, press down on it, so 130 is my massive BPM now. So now you can see my track is at 122.5, I press BPM lock, and now it's at 130. So now both of my decks can be set up so that uh, they play at 130 BPM. Moving on to the mixer, um, there are two effects that are new on this mixer, the noise and the short echo. Noise is an effect that was taken from uh, the DJM 2000 that proved to be very popular over there. So these are two effects that you don't find on the black version of the DJM 350. My absolute favorite feature of this mixer is the fact that you can connect a USB stick right here and record to it. Um, very simple, just put your USB stick in there, press the record button, and anything that goes through the mixer, whether it's coming from a CD player or whether it's coming from the microphone, is gonna be recorded. And it records it as a WAV file, so you can also use this to convert your vinyl collection to WAV files because you have phono inputs in the back of this mixer. And if you're recording your DJ set, you can set track markers as you're recording it. So this is your track mark button. As Soon as you're done with your mix, just hit track mark. Then you have a WAV file with all your tracks already, uh, with your file already broken down into uh, the individual tracks. Uh, so this system is available next month and it's going to be uh, uh, retailing for uh, $21.45.